begin this evening with the latest as a major Cuyahoga County official is apologizing for pictures that show him wearing blackface makeup 30 years ago. Tonight, in his first on-camera interview discussing the incident, County Health Commissioner Terry Allen is calling it a youthful mistake. Our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, has the latest. In a clearly remorseful and sometimes emotional interview, Terry Allen addressed one of the dumbest choices he's ever made, wearing blackface to a University of Dayton Halloween party in 1990. It was a long day of me, I think, um, beginning to pay penance for my, uh, what was a very stupid, um, embarrassing, um, uh, ignorant thing that I did many years ago that now I understand uh, after uh, many years in public health and doing what I'm doing and learning from people around me just how, how wrong it was. He spent the last two days asking family, staff, board, and community for forgiveness and hopes his record of the past two decades speaks to who he is today. I've tried to think about my work and what I can do to right wrongs, to think about racial injustice in ways that we can create a fair opportunity for everybody to be healthy here and recognize the privilege that I have in my skin that others uh, very unfairly do not. The board of five that oversees the board of health includes three minorities. Allen says they were disappointed and upset, but they issued a statement of support based on his record and said he will continue to lead as county health commissioner. 17% of his staff is African American. Not all feel the same right now. And I do know that people that uh, I care about a lot are were hurt and uh, they were um, upset and, uh, you know, they, they've said that they, you know, they have to think about it a little bit more and I respect that. Many of the programs under Allen's guidance focus on better health for those underserved. He says a lifetime of learning has made him aware of why racism truly is a health crisis, and he's determined to do what he can to change that. And what I've done and, and, and tried to build uh, bridges, um, uh, programs, outreach, um, addressing inequities in, in the best way I can, not, not uh, perfect but uh, trying to make things better, that that's recognized and that that counts for something. Now, I also had the opportunity to speak with Cleveland NAACP President Danielle Sidnor. She doesn't want the community to be distracted by a 30-year-old picture when fighting institutional racism should really be the focus. And based on Terry Allen's body of work, she doesn't consider him as part of the problem. However, she does not excuse the picture either. What he did 30 years ago was a very uh, bad choice. And I don't call mistakes because it was intentional. He decided to put on blackface. He decided to wear his hair in the way that he did. It was an intentional choice. It was a very poor choice. However, I believe that what we call on often for in our community is an opportunity for, for individuals to have second chances. If there were a slew of photos, if there were um, recent day photos in his tenure and leadership within the county that he was engaging in those kinds of activities and behaviors, then I would be having a very different conversation. So, Russ, we put Ms. Sidnor's entire interview and Terry's entire interview on WKYC.com if people would like to know more about what they had to say. Okay. Monica Robbins, thank you.